Some governors aren't willing to do the right thing to beat this pandemic. Then they should allow businesses and universities who want to do the right thing to be able to do it. I say to these governors, please help. But if you aren't going to help, at least get out of the way. It's like in New York City, restaurants should ban young kids from being able to go in because they're not eligible for vaccination. And law-abiding citizens have to produce proof of their medical records just to go to the gym or attend an event or just to participate in everyday society. He wants that, but yet if you want to vote, he thinks it's too much of a burden to show a picture ID when you're voting. So no voter ID, but have to show your medical papers just to be able to live an everyday life. Give me a break. Yo, YouTube, welcome back. Yo! Thanks for checking me out. I have a really weird one from MSNBC today. A day after Florida Governor Ron DeSantis put Joe sexual predator Biden over his knee and spanked him for talking smack, another babbling idiot of the Joe variety tried his best to stick up for his dear leader, but hilariously failed. But before we get into this clip, please take just a moment to hear about this special offer from preparewithdronetech.com. These days, the future is still more uncertain than ever. That's why people who know what's coming are using today to prepare. You can't wait until the last moment. By then, it's too late. The most important thing you need is long-term storage emergency food. It stays fresh for up to 25 years and will be there when you need it. I strongly recommend My Patriot Supply, America's leader in self-reliance. They're the only source my family uses for emergency food planning. And right now, you can save $50 off a four-week supply of delicious meals that provide 2,000 plus calories a day. Calories give you the energy you need to survive. And saving $50 is impossible to pass up, but supplies are limited. So go to www.preparewithdronetech.com right now and stock up. That's preparewithdronetech.com. There's no time to lose. Do it now. You do your job. Why don't you get this border secure? And until you do that, I don't want to hear a blip about COVID from you. All right. That makes perfect sense to me. Biden has been accusing Florida and Ron DeSantis of being the source of the most recent outbreaks. Ron comes back with the fact that Joe Biden is spreading COVID-infected illegal immigrants all over this country, many times in secret, not even letting the local officials know what's going on. It seems that if you're worried about the spread of COVID, then you want to shut down the borders, especially since Mexico is having a surge of their own. But no, as we've seen throughout this entire pandemic, the virus ceases being an issue anytime Democrat politics are Involved. Be it mass BLM gatherings, massive Barack Obama birthday parties, do as I say, not as I do, or what the Democrats see is essentially an invasion of their new voter bloc. So it seems pretty clear what Ron DeSantis was trying to get across there, but Joe don't get it. And he's got a brilliant analogy to demonstrate that fact. <laughs> it's like a doctor saying, why don't you work on your backswing and I will, uh, do the scans and see whether you have cancer or not. <laughs> I don't even. Ah, uh, I get it. I don't get it. Cringy. The uncomfortable laugh and then the rambling, incoherent attempt to clap back at Ron DeSantis. It was just sad. He's not done making a complete ass of himself and entertainment for all of us. But oh, Ron, he says no. The power of the state, socialism rules. We're going to decide everything from a thousand miles away. Good old Ron, socialist Ron, saying, hey, if you are a business, you have no control over how you keep your business safe. <laughs> you got that? Ron DeSantis is a hardcore right-wing domestic threat, but also a socialist. I mean, you forget that this guy is on a network where they openly promote and support socialism. A network where many of the main hosts have shown support for Fidel Castro and his brutal communist government. Forget that you yourself, Joe Scarborough, are a member of the party where socialists and communists are now driving the party. But yeah, right, Joe. A Republican governor of Florida who gets massive support from survivors of socialist countries is somehow a socialist. I mean, who was he Who was he talking to? Cletus, the slack-jawed yokel? Like, who... who was really fooled by that. He goes, I'm going to let parents says, no, I'm a parent in Florida. I've got kids going to po going to school. <laughs> Did you catch that? He was trying to pretend like he has skin in the game by claiming that his kids go to public school too. 
but they don't, so he had to stop himself. A school, by the way, where they can still require masks, or people could just wear them of their own accord. The government just can't force them to do it. While the media endlessly feigns outrage towards their political opposition, they're covering for Joe Biden, who just admitted that he's ignoring the Constitution and taking illegal actions to keep landlords from evicting. Essentially taking away their ability to make money and survive. So while Joe Biden is getting away with these crimes, his media will continue focusing on any prominent opposition to their agenda. Which should be the only clue people need to realize that our media has become an enemy of America. Turn off your TV, stop giving them your money. And in this case, the sponsor are Allstate, Volvo, and Panera. Don't give your money to people who hate you and are actively working to subvert this country on behalf of a cadre of extremist left-wingers who just want to burn it all down. All right, folks, that's all I got for this one. As always, thanks for watching. Hit that like button on your way out and let me know what you think in the comments.